today I'm doing some braised beef short ribs. I know it's been a while and it's probably like shocking that I'm making a video, but yes, I still make them. I just have a little time off from school. So I decided to show how I make them. Um, I'm gonna braise the short ribs. And these are the ingredients that I'm going to use. And I'm going to use about four pounds of short ribs. I have some gravy master and I have hamburger seasoning. I've been using that um, for a while for like certain meats, like short ribs or steak, whatever. I really like it, so try it out. Um, and I'm gonna use mushrooms and sassone, which is optional. So I'm going to wash my hands and get started. I almost forgot I'm gonna use some um, oil too. So yeah. And um, let me, hold on one second, I have to get the pot that I'm using. Okay, so I'm going to make these in a, you know, like these old school heavy bottom pots. I think that's a great alternative to a Dutch oven, which I do have. However, with that being said, my Dutch oven is a little too small. So rather than pack everything in the Dutch oven, I pretty much um, just use this heavy bottom pot. In addition... A crock pot can be used and later on I will tell you how to cook them in a crock pot but I usually do the crock pot method when I'm pressed for time otherwise the oven method is how you know the way I prefer so with that being said I'm gonna wash my hands and get started well before I begin let me get something out of the way I know you're probably wondering what this big orange thing is that you're looking at well I needed to set my mini tripod on top of something due to my large tripod being broken so now that I got that out of the way I'm going to um, show you how I season the meat and again I'm using just three seasonings today but right now I'm only going to use the two so I'm going to season very generously I'm gonna first start with my hamburger seasoning and I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna season the meat very generously I like to them in a bowl first you know this is a lot of meat so I want to make sure it's seasoned well okay and I like this because it has everything in there it has the garlic powder and everything paprika onion powder like I said give it a try I just want to make sure the meat is like seasoned well next thing I'm going to add is packet of sesame and again this is optional you know maybe I'll add I'll just add two yeah I'm really I'll just add two and then I'll just blend that up so I will be right back and usually while I'm um, prepping everything I normally oh by the way I just put all the meat I dumped it all in like a big like roast type thing dish or whatever and like I was saying normally I let it sit at room temperature so anyway I'm going to pour all of that mix just like that on top of the meat and I'm just going to like mix it around and make sure everything is well blended Then seasoning them, and as you can see, I seasoned them very, very well, um, which is why I like to do it that way. You know, I just want to make sure everything is seasoned very well. So, I'm now going to brown them, so I will be right back. So, to brown them or sear them, just use a couple tablespoons of oil. Don't use too much oil because otherwise you'll have, like, oily gravy and I don't think you want that although there will be fat um I don't think you want like like I said an, an oily gravy so you can use a tablespoon or two I'm going to use two tablespoons and because I have so much meat um rather than stuff them in the pot I'm actually just going to do a couple batches at a time so like I said I, I'm only using two tablespoons of oil 
and that's it. Meat for seven minutes per side and make sure each and every side is brown. Turn it over and that's what they look like after browning on medium high heat for about seven minutes. And I'm gonna let them brown another seven minutes. However, make sure that each and every side of the meat is brown. Again, just make sure every part of the meat is brown. You don't have to necessarily brown each and every part for seven minutes, but you know, like I said, just make sure every part is brown. And um, remember to brown every side. And put everything in a pot after. So just let everything, you know, just putting everything in the pot after browning each and every side. So they should be nice and brown. They should look something like that. After browning them, they should look something like that. To show this next, remember I was talking about like the greasy gravy. I do have onions and mushroom to saute. However, I am definitely going to get rid of some of this oil. I want enough to be able to like saute it. So like I said, I'm just going to get rid of the oil. However, I'm not going to get rid of like the pan drippings at the bottom because I actually need that. So I'm gonna get rid of, like I said, some of this excess oil and then I'll be back to saute the onion. This is much, much better. I just need enough to saute the onions and mushrooms and see the little bits and pieces at the bottom. Definitely wanna keep that because that's where the flavor is for when we do the gravy. I'm gonna saute the onions and mushrooms together on about medium heat for like, I don't know, five, five minutes. What I like about this and getting, even though I got rid of like most of the oil, the onions and mushrooms are going to soak up what's left of this oil that I'm using. So again, I won't have like an oily gravy, but there will be fat, don't get me wrong, but like I said, the gravy won't be oily. So the onions and mushrooms are, like I said, going to soak up a lot of this, you know, what's left of the oil. While doing this, make sure that you're like, you can take your spoon or whatever. Make sure, remember I told you about the little bits and pieces at, um, at the bottom of the pan. Make sure that, you know, when you're doing this, you're scraping the bottom and sides of the pan. I mean, you want all of it. That's where all that flavor is. So definitely, you know, do that. Now, I'm only going to add, I'm going to add like six cups of water. However, if I feel I need to add another cup or so, then I will. Also, I'm going to add a little bit of Gravy Master. I don't know. And then I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to bring this to a boil and then I'm going to dump in. I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I'll put it in the pot and let you know how long to cook it and then I'll give you that info about the crock pot and all of that. Once it's brought to a boil, you're going to dump in the pot with the meat and you're going to braise. leave anything out I actually added another cup so rather than doing six cups I actually did seven cups of water you can use beef broth if you want however since I'm out of beef broth I use water okay so as you can see I have my pot covered with foil remember I used the heavy bottom pot because my Dutch oven was too small so um I just covered it tightly I covered the handles and all of that so I'm going to put this in a 225 degree oven for about four hours. And as promised, if you're using a crock pot, this is the instructions for a crock pot. If you're going to use a crock pot, you will follow the same instructions. 
However, um, you just cook it on low for eight hours in a crock pot. But like I said, if you're going to use the oven method, then I'm, you'll do it for four hours in a 225 degree oven. And remember, I did um, add an additional cup of water. So instead of using six cups, I used seven cups. So again, 225 for four hours. See, this is all done because I really am tired and I do not feel like waiting another hour. I'm just going to take the foil off. definitely definitely tender thank god i don't not want to have to wait another hour so um see it's already falling off the bone so, which is great so the next thing that i'm going to do oops, so the next thing that i'm going to do is um remember i did add an extra cup of water so to be on the safe side, what I'll do is just take a little bit more of the hamburger seasoning. Well, first, before I even add this, I'll taste it. And if it's seasoned, if it's still seasoned, you know, well, remember, I, I added a lot of seasoning, then I won't add any. But if I feel the need to, then I will just like sprinkle a little bit, you know, and just season to taste. Um... Another thing, remember I was talking about there will definitely be fat. There will. Normally when I make this, right, I make it the day before I serve it. So this happens to be the day before I'm serving it. And the reason being is because I would I, I refrigerate it. And that way, you know, if it's refrigerated, all of that fat, it will be easier to scrape off the top as opposed to just, you know, sitting around waiting for it to just float at the top of the pot or whatever so that's how I do it um the braised short ribs I was going to do collard greens I'm not sure if I'm going to upload that if I do it it'd be a separate video because I'm not recording anything else tonight and that's about it and I hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching and I will talk to you later Okay, so that's just a closer look. I did not feel like setting this tripod up again. So let me just show you. See, the meat does fall off the bone. It's pretty tender. So I guess four hours is a sufficient enough amount of time. All right, talk to you later. I didn't want to leave anything out. Remember how I was saying um, that I may have to add a little bit more seasoning due to the fact that I did add an extra cup of water? Well, I did taste it, and I mean, it's not bland by any means, but I will, however, add a little bit more of my hamburger seasoning. So this is what I do. I just sprinkle a little bit more on top, right? Just a little bit. And then I just mix it up. Whatever. Alright, so that's it. It's, you know, very simple, very easy. And try it and let me know how you like it. Alright, bye-bye. I might as well just show a little bit of um, what I do the next day. See how the fat is solidified? Um, this is what I was talking about. Like, for me, this is like the easiest way. So you just take a spoon, right? And you just get that fat right off the top. And just you know set it that's how you do it have like a bowl or something and you just and that's how you you know trim the fat off the top like I said it's much easier when it's solidified you know I'm trimming like uh, some of the fat off the top I'm still I'm not gonna trim like all of it because 
as you know, that is what gives it the flavor.